Hello, friends. It's Mr. Stowe. He's back. You may not have recognized me, though, because I'm wearing my mask. You've probably seen a lot of people wearing masks around lately, uh, just to make sure uh, we're not getting sick and trying to be uh, healthy and, and keep the germs away a little bit. So they're not scary, of course. Everybody's just trying to be safer. And uh, you, you've probably been wearing a mask yourself, maybe. Maybe you've made some masks. My neighbor made me this one. See, it's white and blue checkers. Uh, I've seen pink ones and red bandanas and gray ones and flannel ones and plaid ones. I've seen all kinds of face masks, um, almost like little pieces of artwork. But uh, don't be scared. They're just to keep us safe. I don't need to wear it in the house. I just wanted to show you my mask. Uh, you can always send me a picture of you if you have a mask and what kind of mask you have. But uh, I'm here for a read aloud, as always. So I hope uh, you're staying dry in all this rainy weather and uh, you're being safe and having some fun at home. I know it's been a long time. Uh, we've been kind of staying inside, but uh, hopefully you're finding things to do and uh, maybe you'll be inspired to do some art work today because I, my book is called Bob the Artist by Marion Denchars. Bob the Artist. And of course, an artist is someone who creates art. And even somebody that made this, you could say that's a little piece of art, right? It's a nice little pattern. And somebody made it. Bob the Artist. Oh, here's the inside. You can see the bird tracks. Oh, no. You see what happened? <laughs> Looks like somebody spilled some white paint and he walked right through it. Bob the Artist. What a beautiful day for a walk on my fine legs, said Bob. You know who's hanging upside down up there? A little bat. Bob does have some fine legs. How would you describe his legs? Hmm. Eek! Look at those skinny legs, said Cat. Ooh, look at that funny stick walk, said Owl. Oh, that didn't seem very nice. Look at Bob. He was walking with his head up, and look how his body has changed now. Does that tell you something about how he's feeling? Yeah. I know when I walk like that, I'm not happy. Oh, how puny your legs are, cried the other birds. Now Bob's looking at his legs. What did he call them? He called them fine legs, but hmm. Other people are not being so nice. This teasing made Bob very sad. And this one says, Bob's skinny legs. Now they're looking especially skinny to him, even more than usual, right? That what happens when people tease you about something? Have you ever been teased about something that made you sad? You know, not all people are always kind, but we say, what do we say? Be kind anyway, right? Be kind anyway. Then Bob had an idea. What do you think? I'll exercise my legs bigger. Oh. I wonder if that'll work. Look at all those exercises. Have you done some of those? Maybe. We've got a lot of exercises on there. <laughs> you can't see that it's working, though. Oh, but that did not work. I know. I'll eat. I'll eat my legs bigger. See where he's going? The restaurant. I'll eat my legs bigger. So, Bob ate and ate and ate. You already saw that. 
It's a lot of sausages or hot dogs. Eight and eight and eight. Think it's going to work? It might work. But that did not work. <laughs> did his legs get bigger? Nope. What got bigger? His dummy. Now he's got a really fat tummy. <laughs> did not make his legs bigger. His next plan was simple. I'll dress up to hide my legs. But he felt ridiculous. He's trying all these costumes. You seen everything? And he feels ridiculous. You know what ridiculous means? Silly. He feels silly. What's he going to do? Bob went for a long walk. His legs are good for that. Ooh, he went to the art gallery. The art gallery, that's where they show all kinds of art. Look at all those pieces of art. Pretty cool. I like those. You guys have made some art. Looks like that. Bob was inspired. What do you think inspired means? Inspired. Bob was inspired. That means he was motivated. That means he was moved. He was thinking, I've got it. I've got an idea. I know what I'm going to do. That's inspired. Bob had a brilliant idea. He got his paints out and started to color his beak. On Monday, he painted like Matisse in beautiful, colorful patterns. Look at that. So instead of thinking about his skinny legs and being sad, now he's painting his beak. Matisse is a fam famous artist. Ooh, how exquisite. A genius, incredible. Such daring, amazing color. Stupendous, brilliant. A work of art, said Owl. So there's Owl. Talking about it. He's impressed. On Tuesday, Bob painted his beak in bright splatters like the painter. Jackson Pollock. Wow, what an incredible beak, said Cat. And here's his Jackson Pollock looking beak. Have you ever splattered like that? Well, that's one way to create your own artwork. And so now every day, Bob paints his beak in a different way. Hmm, look at all these different ways. Any of those your favorite? You like any of those the best? Am I showing you everything? Yep. Pretty cool. Bob loves showing off his wonderful beak designs. He doesn't worry about his skinny legs anymore. In fact, he is now rather proud of them. <laughs> Look at him. Now he's just kicking back. He feels good about his beak, doesn't he? So now he doesn't even care about his skinny legs. And sometimes Bob even likes to leave his beak do you remember what color his beak was to start? He likes to leave his beak red. What an elegant walk, said Owl. Great legs, said Cat. How minimal, says the bat. Minimal means he didn't do anything to it. He just left it. Sometimes you don't have to do a lot to create artwork. And that is the end of Bob. The artist. So, there's a good lesson in there, I guess. 
right? If you're not feeling good about something that people are saying, or maybe you should think about all the good things about yourself uh, instead of thinking only about the things that aren't great. Because we all have things that aren't great. But we all have things that are fantastic, too, so you can think about the things that are great. But uh, Bob was inspired. Maybe you're inspired to do some, some artwork while we're stuck inside. Maybe you could make something colorful or minimal or splattery or who knows. These are, all the, these are all the works of art that he saw when he went to the art gallery. Look at all those kinds of works of art. You can make something totally different than those. But those are some, some inspiring ideas. So uh, if you create something, some artwork, or you already created something earlier on another day, send me a photo. I'd love to see it. Um, yeah. I was gonna. I don't think I've created any art from hanging around the house that I could find. Nope. So, um, but my friend, my friend made me this box. You see this box? It holds a bunch of kids' files in there. Isn't that pretty? That's a piece of art, right? And he made that for me for my birthday. That beautiful box. So you can create anything that's art and call it art. Maybe a cool mask you can make somebody, your mom or dad. So, have a great day. Make some art. Be safe. Wash your hands a lot. And we'll see each other someday soon. And then we'll, uh, we'll all be happy to be back together. So, I'll talk to you soon. I'll read you again tomorrow. Bye.